I'm Christine Cushing and welcome to another helping of my favorite foods. Today it's more about technique than actual recipes. I want to show you one of my favorite techniques that's going to take the simple chicken breast boneless skinless to all new heights. It's pan roasting. So get ready for a pan roasted chicken breast fit for a French restaurant. Pan roasting is a restaurant technique that will bring you amazing results for just about any kind of a piece of meat you use. I wanted to show you chicken breast because it's probably one of the most popular cuts of meat poultry out there. So I've got my cast iron pan here heating completely empty. It's dry, it's nice and seasoned, and I have two boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So what I do here is I take some olive oil or veg oil, either way, and I actually cover the chicken breast on both sides with the olive oil. Let me just season that. The reason I put the olive oil on the chicken breast and not in the pan is because I don't want it to start smoking. As soon as it hits that pan, I'm gonna get that great sizzle I want, but the oil is not gonna start smoking. The other reason I love the cast iron pan is it's perfect for finishing things or pan roasting, which is gonna go in the oven. This is a recipe that's all about the technique. How do you get a juicy, juicy chicken breast? So I use my hand to tell me here how hot this is. If I can hold my hand over this and tell you a whole story, it's not hot enough. So I'm just gonna leave it for a couple of seconds while I chop some rosemary. Oh yeah, see now I can hardly keep my hand there. Guess what's happening? Smoking. So I'm going in the pan. Hit it with a bit of rosemary. What I'm just demonstrating here is how can you take a simple piece of chicken and in a flash give it great flavor without a whole lot of effort. I don't want to touch it until I know it's ready to flip. Okay, my ears are telling me I think it should be ready. Let's give it a flip, shall we? So you see how, look at that, it just comes totally apart. See how we get beautiful color? I'm gonna flip that over, I think it's looking great. At this point, the pan is a little bit empty, so what I'm gonna do, get it with a little bit more rosemary on the other side, and a bit more olive oil. So now that I've seared it, probably a couple of minutes aside, seasoned rosemary, salt and pepper, it's going into the oven at 375 convection. That's a Fahrenheit setting. Exactly 10 minutes in, and I said 10 minutes, it's ready. One of these probe thermometers is a fantastic tool in the kitchen because you insert it, you set your temperature, and this sits outside. You set it to the internal temperature you want. When your meat hits that, you're good to go. 165, this only took two minutes aside and then 10 minutes in the oven at 375 Fahrenheit on a convection or fan setting. Look at how perfect those chicken breasts look. I mean, seriously. So now I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of butter. So this is a little bit of butter with that rosemary. It just starts to turn gently brown. And this is a simple pan sauce. Now I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of lemon juice because I am Greek. I gotta put lemon on everything. And last but not least, a little bit of mustard. And just because I love lemon so much, a little bit of lemon zest right at the end. 14 minutes in total, and this is beautiful, succulent, tender, simple, very lean, by the way, and delicious protein. Just let it rest for a couple of minutes, but I wanna show you how moist and tender this chicken breast is. You see how juicy that is? That is a perfectly cooked chicken breast. Let me taste for you. Delicious, simple but really moist and tender. Thanks for joining me on My Favorite Foods. Be sure to subscribe. Today was all about technique. Let me know what you want me to help you with. I'm here. See ya.